Go ahead, Steve. Action figure news and go. Oh wait, go. Listen up, Rangers. Log with the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Iron Ass. Um, I guess you. Do you have the music audio turned down in this game? Yes, I do. Okay. I don't want this video also being copyrighted. <laughs> That's why it's so quiet. Anyways, today in action figure news, uh, starting with the Godzilla stuff, there's some X pluses that went up for pre-order. Oh wait, wait, there's Godzilla stuff. Okay, I'm interested. All right, so we have the 1964 B suit is up, uh, 25 centimeter scale. Uh, if you get the Rick, um, the B suit, B suit, that'd be Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. Oh, or sorry, not versus King Ghidorah, the three and a monster. Yeah, I know what you're talking version. about. Not same good. suit, in a way. Technically, but it's not from the same movie. Yep. Uh, the Rick, you get a small Rodan and Mothra. You can have like standing Rodan. next to it, but it looks like it's off in the background a little bit. Um, oh, so you like you can set it up to like where it's. So if you have like the King Ghidorah that just came out plus him, and then you can have Rodan and Mothra kind of look like they're like far away. Gotcha. So you can make a scene. So they're tiny then. Without having. Uh, like, Mothra is super tiny. Rodan's like probably like about that big, somewhere on there. We're going to see where this guy takes us. Uh, also, Barugan's up for pre order. Or Barugan. Whatever the Gamera Monster's Barugan. name is. Which one is it? Barugan or Barugan? It's not Barugan. I think it's Bar. It's like it's almost the same. Anyways, the Rainbow Monster. He's up for pre order now. A little bit expensive. Uh, By a little bit, like hundred bucks. He's a thirty centimeter. So oh. uh, standard, I think, is like two twenty. Rick, you're looking more like two sixty ish, two eighty, depending on where you're from, uh, or where you're buying from. But he lights up. Now I'll be focused on this like the entire time. I'm trying to talk about these. You keep on talking, and I'm just, I'm just playing Apex. You got uh, this. Also, dog. the I'm 2019 D4 Real Godzilla, the one where he's spewing fire in the air, is up for order too. You don't want the one where he's spewing the shit in the ground. I mean, the smoke in the ground. But there, there's no deeper reel of that one. There's the Hedora. That's up for pre-order, too. With the damaged eye. I think that one's actually shipping soon. We'll go along with the... Uh... Oh, God. 71 Godzilla? Really? 71? I got select fire right off the beginning, Steve. You're welcome. There's a stock there, too. All right. <laughs> Essentially, I think that's pretty much it for Godzilla news, though. Really? Not That's really too of... much else. Uh, for Gridman, or particularly SSS Gridman, there's a few stashes of Akane that you can get now. Uh, one from Fat Company and one from Mega House. Akane is the best girl, technically. I don't know. I like Riku, too. Like, I'll buy both of them. Really? And initially when I was seeing this, because they both came off a pre-order pretty quick, uh, the Mega House one is her sitting in the um, computer chair. The legs kicked up, has the headsets on. Um, she's holding, uh, whatever, I forget the final villain's name, but she's holding like the little toy of them in between her legs. Kind of want that one. Well, see, the problem is with, um, uh, with both of them is like each one of them has something that you like about it. Yeah, but she doesn't have the stockings and I kind of like the yeah. stockings. Well, the other one, I like the pose. It's like basic pose of her just like bending over with like the hoodie kind of tucked up underneath. So it came out at the good spot kind of thing. Yeah. Like it's there for a reason. Um, monsters. Normal, like so, normalish pose for what you see. Has the stockings. I like that she comes with the knife, the box cutter. She stabs, stabs them with towards the end of the anime. Or you can have her also holding one of the kaiju's. She's a monster, you know that. They also put the headset, the glasses on her too. So there's like a lot of options, and she stands on the SSS Gridman logo, but it's in her colors. So a lot of like positive things. But I kind of like the more action-oriented pose of the Mega House. so That's like 50-50. Yeah, so I was like, I don't know which one. And then I found out that the mega, the the fat one doesn't come out until next year. So I'm like, all right, I can pre-order if you'll save. It's a lot of moolah between each one's 160 bucks. No, nah, it's like 120, 120 each. Just saying. And I'm definitely not getting the FOTS. Like Those are the two companies, if I'm going to buy the Grimman statues from, those are what I'm going with. Well, actually, that's a lie, but I got the Bandai ones in order, too. Yeah, so you might want to get out of there. Make sure your teammate bamboozles them. And then finally, for Gridman, we have the Anti Vinyl from Figma. That's coming out as well. Looks a little fat to me. 
It's a little chubby in the photos. I think he's on the roof. There, he dropped down. Oh, I like that they dropped down and looked in your direction instead of... I, I thought know, he was going right? to try to finish them. That's what it looked like. <coughs> Sorry. Well, that was a crappy match. But it is nice that we're going to be seeing more of the Figma Gridma stuff. Uh, also, for Data Live, if you like Toka, there's her in her spirit outfit. Whatever it's called. But it's an actual action figure from Pultra. I thought it was a Figma when I first seen it. Well, it looks like Figma. Kind of looks like Figma. She comes with some accessories. A little bit pricey at eight. Well, it's about 80 bucks. Oof. For like, that's the price I'm expecting out of Figma. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's also like the first one I've seen where I'm like, I could I could see me buying that. Uh, I'm forgetting who makes this. Edm Edmund Toys? Mum Toys? Mum Toy? Uh, it's making a Nitro Plus Super Sonico 1-7 scale in a China dress where she's on her knees giving you food. I so, still want that. Does that make me a bad person? Already winning. Also comes around for Christmas. Eh? Worst thing is, is though, um... Uh, I gotta find it. I think it's on my next page of stuff. Is the, uh, Darling? Yeah, the Darling of the Fronx. I think it was fat, too. Uh, but they have a statue coming out. It's good smiles related. Of uh, her... With no clothes on, but like the coat's kind of falling off. And her hair and her hands are covering the important bit, so we're all good. But she's like floating in front of like the Darling logo. I want her. Yeah, I know. I was like, I want that, but I can't display that. Oh, proudly, yeah. Right here. Just like in the center of the room, have like a one of those like... Just have like a coffee table. Yeah. And it's like, why do you have a naked anime girl? Don't worry about it. And have like one of those like glass covers so the dust doesn't fall on you, you know? So it's like... Well, yeah, you gotta keep it pristine. Yeah. God. It's like half my... Well, the majority of my anime statues sit in cases. Uh, for po the pop-up parade figures that they're doing... Pop-up parade. They're like the cheap statues. Oh, yeah. Sort yeah, of okay. like a wave. Yeah. Uh, but there's Goblin Slayer. You can get Saitama from One Punch Man. Is up for order now. The Goblin Slayer one I was debating, but I have the Figma in order, so I'm just gonna... I want, I want good figures good enough for me. Good shows, but not like to the point where I want the figures, you know what I mean? Yeah, and there's also a... I think... Um, oh, who has... No, we'll move on. Because I was like, I think it was Kazuna AI, but I'm pretty sure we've already talked about her. Oh, I seen... The, no, I seen a new Kazuna AI for like 30 bucks. Yeah. that's I want that one. Uh, for also for Nendoroids, there's um, reissuing the Attack on Titan ones. So we'll get Mikasa, Aaron, and Armin. So nothing that interesting. Yeah, well, there's also uh, Mai from uh, Rascal Doesn't Dream of Bunny Girl. Rascal Dreams of Bunny Girl Senpai, which is also convenient because she doesn't come with the Bunny Girl outfit. She has the ears, but doesn't come with the outfit. But you can now buy individually the Bunny Girl bodies for your uh, Nendoroid figures. Oh no! How are we gonna make more money, you guys? Here we go. But now you can have her in a black one, a red one, a gold one, a white one, a blue one. And there's also male versions. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so you can swap out your, all your characters and put them in bunny girl outfits. Oh. I almost want to get the red one for my uh, my Lena inverse. They're like 10 bucks a piece. Like, it ain't crazy. That's so bad. Right? I kind of wanted the my. I ain't gonna lie. Also, for uh, we talked about the Gundam Universe figures previously, but there is some more figures of that up for pre-order as well. There's Gundam Death Scythe, and then two I'm not quite familiar with. I think the one's from Unicorn. Yeah, it's the Banshee Gundam from Unicorn. And, oh, Barbatos from uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Barbatos. I watched that one. It's a pretty good one. It's like a Gundam that uses like a giant like pike. Trying to think. It's pretty sweet. It's one, where, it's one where like the kids have like these like little rods sticking out of their necks, and that's how they hook into the Gundams. It's, it's like super uncomfortable to watch. It's just like ugh. It's like when the things get like jammed into people's eyes. And then finally, we'll wrap it up with a couple more stateside figures. Uh, Rebor is at least up for pre-order now. Is the Dilophosaurus pair, or if you buy them together, their bases make one unit. No. So you have like a mating pair, and they look no. cool. No. Uh, Rebor's also making, uh, I don't think they're supposed to come out till the end of the year, but they're making two Tyrannosauruses. 
but they're xenomorph tyrannosauruses. Tell them how much they are. They're like 30, 40. Oh, that's it? The rebars aren't expensive. Oh, well, never mind. So the then. T-Rex, the, the T-Rex Xeno hybrids, there's like a queen and a regular I one. I thought you were talking about those ones that Jessica buys are like six, seven hundred dollars. No, like the rebar ones are those ones that are like the smaller ones, but yeah, like, they're, they're like the V-Rex. Yeah, like the pack. Yeah, the same gone. company yeah. as the V-Rexes. Got you now. That was my bad. Yeah. I but, thought you were talking about those that Jessica bought. They're like five. Oh, the Chronicle ones? Yeah, that's the Chronicle yeah. one. No, we're good. I, I definitely want the Xenos. I'm debating Dilophosaurus, but I'm like I'm like this close. Because it's my favorite dinosaur, so I kind of want to get them. Dinosaur with alien? Well, I mean the Dilophosaurus. Then the other one's, duh. duh. Dinosaurs and aliens, like I'm going to buy them. From the sounds of it, they do good. Like they brought up like Velociraptor ones. <laughs> like that whole... Like, you, you know, just like all the crazy stuff you can do with just Jurassic Park with Xenomorphs? be awesome like i'll support that i almost wish they were bigger <sighs> they might be a decent size though like i imagine they'd probably be about like that big somewhere around there and then for transformer news uh black arachnia is up for pre-order from beast wars she's like 300 bucks though no she's like 120 i want to say it's like 120 ish you sure yeah she's not she's actually cheaper than dinobot and megatron Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's the... Yeah, never mind. Yeah. So, I'm probably going to pre-order her. Like I said, I'm waiting for a bootlegs to pop up a Megatron. I'm, th- there's got to be someone doing them eventually. I'll grab one then. Well, eventually will be. And then there's also a company i seen... If I could find the images, will be here. But there's a third-party company making... It's called Nicey. Nicey? It's RC, but if she was thick... Like, the figure is curvy. You got my interest. Keep going. And I guess the <laughs> the robot boobies are soft. <laughs> oh, God. And stuff I'm, like that. No, never like, mind. I was like, the soft part, I was like, okay, that's kind of pushing it. But it looks cool. It's uh, a maybe. I don't I know if it's, like, a fit, like how you're going to be able to get a hold of one outside of eBay. Uh, but it looks cool. But that's pretty much it. So let us know in the comment section below if you guys are excited about anything or just anything in general. <sighs> we don't care. Voice it down below. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. bye. You buy all the Apex packs. No. We could stream it. You could get a. You could do a hundred Apex opening. Imagine I... all the money you could get. All. 20 cents you'd make off the ad revenue. <laughs> 100 Apex packages. Dude, that's like $100. Well, it's like, it's 100 for 10. So you need 10,000? Yeah. Yep. It's $100. It's literally a dollar Plus, a package. You'll get an extra 10 Apex packs. 15 actually. You see this mic? 15 of them.